Well, how are we doing, folks? Welcome back. This is going to be another tutorial video on networking setup. Uh, this is actually a tutorial on how to set up and extend your current router with the Linksys RE7000 range extender. Now, this will actually pertain probably to any of the Linksys range extenders, especially if you're looking at a dual band uh, setup. But this is extending the, 30, the uh, WRT3200 AC router from Linksys. This will pertain the same way to any of the MacStream routers as well, which this is part of the MacStream setup. This is a very easy to set up extender. Uh, have it factory reset to how you would get it out of the box. So we're gonna go from there. I already did a, uh, a setup review video or a tutorial video of this guy. I'm gonna actually post a card, not only to the product reviews of both these, but also to the actual setup of the router that I did. So look over on the cards for that one. Secondly, um, I'm going to post at the top of the videos where you can actually purchase e each of these products directly on Amazon. If you do purchase them, thank you for your support. You are supporting the show. But that said, I brought this over here. I ran an, an Ethernet cable all the way from my cable modem uh, over to here. So it's just in a better scenario where I can actually bump back and forth uh, with the setup. When you do this setup, you're going to want to have this in an outlet really close to the router. Okay. Um, Two reasons for that. It needs a really strong connection to get a really a good connection to the router to, to get all the data from it. And then once you have it connected and fully set up, then you can move this to other parts of the house. And when you plug it in, it will tell you whether or not it has a good enough connection where you placed it to operate. If it doesn't, then you move it. Uh, but when you do this setup, we're going to want, I think they say within like five or six feet of the router, which I'm within three or four feet. So I'm going to be us using my outlet right over here to set this up. And how this setup is going to be in this tutorial specifically is going to be using the WPS uh, buttons. There's one on the back of the router. There is one on the side of here. And it's really easy to do. Um, but first, the first step you're going to want to do is take this, plug it into the wall. So... We're going to do that right now. I'm going to zoom in down here and you'll actually see me plug it into the wall so you can see what we're waiting for. But we're going to wait for the, the light to blink uh, orange for the setup procedure. Um, I personally typically always do one other item before I get to that, I guess. I always take out a device, pull out Wi-Fi and see how many if I, am, I can see both the bands on this router. So let me turn the Wi-Fi on my phone. Jeez. Um, so both... The 2.4 and the the 5 gigahertz bands are showing. So I have, it's called Tech Gooch, Tech Gooch 5 gigahertz. Both of them are all set up so I can actually see both bands on the router where I'm at. Shouldn't have a problem here. But I always like to double check just to make sure that, you know, I have had routers in the past where I had a band fail and I had to restart the router. Uh, you're going to want both bands going when you do this setup, uh, especially if you have a, two, a dual band router. So get the boxes out of the way, get down there for setup. All right. Okay, so we're gonna take the little extender and plug it into the outlet. Now, like I said, this is, what, three or four feet away from the actual router itself. So we're plenty close, but that's the big point of this, is during the setup procedure, we wanna be really close to make sure we're, we're at really, really strong contact to the router itself. Um, there are buttons that we're gonna use on the side here. I'm gonna actually, I'll get the video and show you the button here on the side. WPS button, that's what we're gonna be pressing on here but we're not gonna press it first. We're gonna press the WPS button on the back of the router first. So while it boots up, we're gonna wait here until this starts flashing amber in color. Uh, green is the boot up stage, takes a minute or so. Uh, and then when it starts flashing amber, we're no reset. So let me show you the WPS button on the back of the router. Okay, welcome to the back of the WRT 3200 router. So right back behind this guy, there's that little blue button. That is the WPS button. And when I push that, there is a light that's going to be on the front here, right up here, that will actually start flashing to let you know that you did push it. It is not the red reset button, which is over here. Now, you can't really push that reset button with your finger very well. You need a pen or a pin or something. We're going to be using the little blue button that has little arrows around it, so a little refresh kind of thing. So we're going to be using that. That's kind of the connect button. So. Looks like the extender is all set up, so let's go over the procedure. Okay, so we have this guy here. This is the WPS indicator light right here, and that's what we're going to be, when I push that button, which is right behind this antenna, right next to the antenna back here, that should uh, should flash, start flashing. And then after I push that within 
well, I think they say two minutes or whatever, I'm gonna be pushing the WPS button here. Uh, as you can see right here, right now, that is glowing amber. Whether or not it looks amber or not, it actually is amber. So, with that said, we push. So we push the button on the back of the router, there's the light blinking. Now we come over to the extender and we push that as well. She starts glowing all sorts of awesomeness and it's doing its setup. Now, while it's doing its setup, you can see how it's flashing green. What we're looking for now is a solid green. <gasps> and look at that, that didn't take very long at all. We are now set up on the 2.4 gigahertz band. The extension of the 2.4 gigahertz band should be done. However, now we have to set up the five gigahertz band. Pretty awesome and easy. So we're gonna come back to the router and we're gonna go onto the back here and push that WPS button again. It's gonna start flashing on the front and we're come back to the router and we push the WPS button on the side and we wait for it to do its thing again. Now it's flashing green again. We're gonna now wait until it's solid green and the light on the side goes out again. If it does, then we know we should be good. If it doesn't and it blinks at us, then we know it didn't connect properly and we have to run the setup again. And it looks like everything went perfect. The only time I've ever had this fail is if I tried to set it up too far away from the router. So the big thing is here, make sure you're really close to the router. Obviously I have this sitting on my kitchen table. I usually don't do it here. I do have an outlet within about three feet of where I have the router, but I just figured this for video purposes, it's easier if I just ran the cable out here. So that said, now we're gonna pull up in the phone. Let's get out, open the, uh, oh, do you see I can go back to settings here? Now we should be able to see 5 gigahertz tech gooch, tech gooch 5 gigahertz extension and tech, tech gooch extension. I have all four of my points all ready to roll. Now, of course, this is where you can figure out how you want to do this yourself or if you want to have, like I have it set up as a dual band, a straight dual band, the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz bands separated. The extender is extending both. Um, you're going to want to be able to, you want to basically connect to both of them so that as you roam around the house, it'll automatically connect to the one that has the strongest connection. So make sure you do put in the password on your phone or your devices for each of those. But we are set. And so now we can actually take this little guy down here out of the wall and place it anywhere in the house and see if we have a good connection. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so now we're in the hallway. I'm probably a good 30 feet plus, or about 30 feet from the router. Uh, it is through at least a couple walls, but I'm gonna take the extender and I'm gonna go ahead and plug it into the outlet here. Again, just as before as we were waiting for it to set up to, uh, to connect, it's gonna run through its setup procedure here. We're gonna wait to see what happens to this green light here. And that's the indicator that that's gonna tell us. So as we wait, I will be back. And lo and behold, we have a solid green light. So there are three different ways that this could have happened. I moved this into the hallway here. I'm 30 feet away or so through a couple walls. If it was solid green, we're good. It's telling me that I have a good connection. We're good to go. If it was solid orange, meaning not blinking, that means it has a weak connection. That's best to try to find a different signal, but it does have a signal. If it was blinking orange, then it doesn't have a signal at all. It was too far away, get a lot closer. Um, in this case, based on my kitchen table, I'm good to go, um, which my router is actually technically closer. So this is where I keep my extender in my hallway here because this is the hallway between all the bedrooms in the house. So we're good. So that was the setup of the RE7000 uh, Wi-Fi Linksys uh, MaxStream extender. Uh, pretty simple setup, works really good. Um, and I, I can't say an easier way to set up an extender. There are other ways you can set this up, but this is so simple that why wouldn't you do it this way? So WPS button, can't go wrong. Make sure you do it really close to the router when you set it up originally, and then place it in a location to see if you actually have a good enough signal. Most of the time, it's pretty straightforward to tell you whether or not you have a good signal or you don't. So just pay attention to what the, what the extender does. The instruction booklet does go through all of this setup, and it does tell you exactly what the lights indicate all in here. So for instance, when we were doing the setup here, when I was pushing the WPS button and I said if it blinks to you, it would blink orange four times before it goes solid green. That means it didn't work right. So just 
read the instructions, follow, you know, follow through on these guys, and they're, they're pretty simple to set up. But that is the setup of the extender. If you have any questions, comments, whichever, place those in the comments below. Please subscribe to the video, like the video, share the video. Um, let me know what you think. If you have any other questions or comments, let me know. Like I said, check us out on all the social media at Get Geek Smart, or at Geek Smart, actually. Uh, we are at GetGeekSmart.com. Um, let me know if there's any other future videos you want me to do. Otherwise, we will catch you on the next tutorial. I want to thank you personally for checking us out. And please don't hesitate to check out those links below uh, if you're interested in purchasing one of these guys. Because every dollar helps to help, uh, to help get in more material into these shows, into these programs. So thanks, guys. We'll see you next time.